We are in Windows Server 2019. I'm going to show you the Windows Updates options. Let's go ahead and click on the Start button. Click on the Settings icon. We no longer go through Control Panel. We go through the Windows Settings. Click on Update and Security. And from here, we'll click on Windows Update. And we can click on Check for Updates. And we've got an update for Windows Defender, which is about to install. We can also change the active hours on when we can do the updates. So let's go ahead and change this from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. And then our start time, we're going to change that to 6 o'clock. And we'll change it to p.m. Click the checkbox. And so we'll say between 6 and 8 we can do updates. Click Save. We can also check out our update history. And we can see for now we only have basically Defender updates. And we can click on Advanced Options, and we can choose options such as to give updates for other Microsoft products when we update Windows, automatically download updates even over metered data connections, so charges may apply. It will show you a reminder when you're about to restart, and you can also pause the updates from being installed for up to 35 days. You can also change the type of update to be installed, such as targeted or non-targeted semi-annual updates. These are the larger updates that Microsoft does at uh, a couple of times a year. So the targeted ones means that the updates are ready for more, most people, whereas the semi-annual without targeted is ready for widespread use. So it's much safer to choose the second option uh, because it's going to be something that's been tested for quite a while. You can also go and change the feature update, uh, includes new capabilities and improvements, and you can defer a certain amount of days. And the maximum amount of days you can see here is going to be 365. So feature updates are different than just regular updates such as security. They're going to actually change the features of the server itself. You can also do quality updates for security improvements, and you can also defer those, but only by up to 30 days. If we click on Delivery Optimization, you can get updates from other PCs or servers. By default, that is off on servers, but it's on on Windows 10 PCs. And you can choose PCs on your local network or uh, PCs on the Internet as well. You can also go to Advanced Options, and you can make changes such as how much bandwidth can be used and limit the bandwidth as used for updates in the foreground. And you can do the same for other PCs as well. Click the back button, and we can take a look at the activity monitor, and it shows us the amount of download that it took and what the date was when it happened. These are the update settings for the new Windows Server 2019.